Welcome, or welcome back to Writing Light. Today I'm still talking about suspense, and I thought we'd start at the very beginning with your first line. Writers spend a lot of time crafting their first sentence. At least they should. That first sentence gives an author the opportunity to hook their reader from the get-go. It doesn't matter what the genre is. It doesn't even matter if that first line is dialogue or narrative. And it doesn't even matter when you come up with the first line. I didn't get the first line to easy innocence until I'd finished the book. What does matter is that you need to grab your reader in a dramatic way. You're also giving them a peek at the tone of the book. Is it dark? Is it angry? Is it funny? Whatever the tone, you want to present an idea or a situation that forces them to keep reading to the second line and then the third and then the fourth and so on. In other words, what you're doing is creating suspense. The best way to do that is to start in what I call in media race, in the middle of things. The reader already knows something is going on and they have to catch up to you. In fact, if it's done really well, the reader should be unable to stop reading. I'd like now to go to some examples of what I'm talking about. The man with 10 minutes to live was laughing from Frederick Forsyth. The small boys came early to the hanging, Ken Follett. For a week, the feeling had been with him, and all week long, young Paul LeBeau had been afraid. That's William Kent Kruger's Iron Lake. Bear in mind that a first line doesn't have to sacrifice humor. Take a listen to these. Ricky Feldman is best admired from a distance. If you get too close, you might find some of your body parts missing. An image of death by me. My bodyguard was mowing the yard, wearing her pink bikini when the man fell from the sky. That's Charlene Harris. And my all-time favorite first line is from Victor Gishler. I turned the Chrysler onto the Florida Turnpike with Rollo Kramer's headless body in the trunk. And all the time I'm thinking, I should have put some plastic down. While we're still at the beginning, I do want to mention prologues. Some people love them, some people hate them. I actually think prologues can be pretty suspenseful, especially if they describe an event that happened back in the past and that's going to have a significant impact on the characters in the present. If it's just backstory, on the other hand, for example, how a character got to a certain point in time, cut it out. And if it's something in between and you're not quite sure what it is, there's a simple fix. Just change it from prologue to chapter one. That's it for this time. Hope you'll come back again to Writing Light.